Hi everyone, it's Marla and I finally finished my Halloween jars to share. Um, I was inspired by a video that um, TSNBJJ, um, her channel, she had posted a video of some beautiful altar jars and wine bottles and um, I was just so inspired I had to make my own. So thanks so much for doing that video. And let me show you guys. I um, kind of played around with some texture paste and it was my first time using it. This one is, um, it's the cheaper one um, than the golden. It's Deco Art Texture Glass. And it worked okay. Um, it was my first time, like I said, so I kind of, this one I went heavy to see what it would look like. And what you do is you just kind of paint it on however you want and let it dry for a couple days and then paint it, you know, different colors. I use black and then this metallic Martha Stewart paint. Um, so, I don't know. It, it kind of came out pretty cool. But, and then I used a label over here that I found on Google Images and um, just some jute and some of the dollar store, you know, Halloween um, gauze type webbing. <laughs> So there's that one, and this one is, um, it's Witch's Potion, and I thought it was really cool, like a cauldron. It had these handles. It's like a peach jar, I think, and um, this I used some of the, that tube kind of glitter diamond dust that you get at Joann's, so you could see it. I just kind of stuck it in the paint, and it dried on there really good, and here I used some fabric tape that I had, and I just kind of inked around it. And there's the top. So there's that one. This one was a little, you know, one of those four pack of wines that you get. It's a plastic bottle and the paint, you know, it, it worked pretty good on the, the plastic too. And I just kind of sponged it around different colors and put a poison label. So there's that one. This one's my favorite. I love it. Um, I painted it and greens and um, oranges and browns and I put you know the same thing here and then some chain and some little trinkets and a key and one of the metal roses and I just really like it I think it looks really cool my sister keeps coming over and trying to steal it I said give me another wine bottle because I only got one from someone um, and the label's really cool, and it's off of Google, too, or Bing Images. You know, you just search Halloween labels. So there's my wine bottle, and this one I also love. It's a little, um, this was actually chocolate banana spread. It was really good. <laughs> and a bingo marker, and um, it says earthworms. And this one I tried to do it in oranges and blacks, too. And that was on the glass. So there's that one with some little bones. And then this one's spooky sauce. I did the texture as well. It made it a little redder. I used some Ditto Glitter Spray. And this one I drizzled the texture paste to kind of see how it would come out. Um, I don't know if I like it, but I guess it's kind of, it'll work for Halloween. It's kind of cool. There's that one, and these I really love too. Um, they were little spice jars, little glass jars, and I went around in the um, nickel paint. It's this one by Martha Stewart. And then I used the gold metallic nitric acid and deadly nightshade, and I used the fabric tape around here. It's kind of like a washi tape, but it looks fabric, fabric feel, and then I painted it to grunge it up. So there's those, and um, I think I showed you guys all of them. And here's a coffin that I've been working on, but I don't know how to go with it, <laughs> where to go with it. I used the Tim Holtz um, Distress Crackle in the pewter, and I like how that came out. So I just got to finish it up. So I just want to show you guys the start of that. So I hope you like my bottles, and make sure and check out um, TSN BJJ's channel. I'll leave the link down below, and have a great night. Bye.